Hello everybody, my name is James Barlich. This is Going Hard in the Paint. First episode, I'm going to teach you how to paint a sky like this in the first episode and mountains like this in the second episode. I'm not sure if I did the intro for these, so I'm doing it again just to cover my tracks. So if you want to learn how to paint clouds like this, a sky like that, maybe how to apply your medium on the canvas, paint mountains, stay tuned and I'm going to show you. Okay, now we're back. That's my cloud I just painted. I'm getting ready to put a mountain right here. What do you think about that? Mountain, bang, right there. You like that? Maybe you don't like my cloud. Maybe I don't like you. Let's go. As you can see, my palette is all messed up and that's just from a cloud. I got some sap green oil, probably linseed oil, running into my mixture here. So it's going to turn it nice and greenish here in a minute. But that's okay. We're good with all that because we're painting mountains. And mountains make us happy, right? Right. The almighty mountain. There's a couple different ways that we can go about this mountain. I'm going to show you the traditional way with the almighty palette knife. I believe it's number 10. Might be a number five. I'm kind of disoriented right now. Who cares? Whatever. So for the mountain, I'm going to take a little bit, little bit of my Prussian blue. Put right there. I'm going to take a little less of my red which is naphthol red, not cad red. That's what we do around here. We don't, we do naphthol only because it's about $5 cheaper too. We're gonna get some of that green oil in there so it's nice and has a green hue to it. Tint, hit, hue, 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 whatever. And for the sake of just to shade that down a little bit to darken that to gray it out i'm gonna put just a little bit of black in there i use ivory black you can use whatever black you want all right so i'm gonna scrape this up and i'm gonna pull it out flat like that cut across get a little roll of paint so it's about center right here I'm going to go up into that cloud a little bit. Now I'm going to put my peak right there. Come down. We're just worried about that outside edge. That's all we're worried about. Take another little roll of paint. Continue that outside edge. Go down like so. Scrape some of that off and maybe maybe take that out put me a little peakage action right there oh yeah i like that baby i like that america baby okay i'm going to continue this out i don't want that to be too to be broke up we don't want we don't want triangles around here we don't want pyramids doesn't work the way you want it to that makes me like super super happy and delightful so the trick is is just to scrape it from the top end of your knife like that let it come through all right we got that we got that 
go through here. I like five peaks to my mountains. Like I said, we're just worried about that top edge. That's all we really need. Because we're going to take our brush and work some magic here. So I've only got the medium to about right here. So we're only going to be able to blend to about right here. So I got the top edge almost the way I want it. Well, that sucks. I really like that. I messed that up. I like that better. Ha <laughs> ha, what about it? So, boom. Boom, that looks nightmare before Christmas Eve, maybe. Maybe it will come up. There's just something about this that's not. Yeah, there we go. It's just not jiving right for me. Probably because I got a thousand pounds of titanium white up behind it. But this is my mountain you can do your mountain however you want okay scrape this paint scrape it off get all of it that you can taking all that excess paint. I'm going to put it right back down there because we're going to save it. We're going to use it. Okay. I like that, right? Okay, so knife. We're going to put it back down. I'm going to use this two inch brush because this is what I got dirty. We're going to take and start pulling from the top. Pull that collar each way. There, yeah. Take and pull that down like that. We're going to shape our mountain here the direction that we want our, uh, that we want it to go. So like here, pull that down, pull that down that way, pull that down that let that fade out oh yeah and don't hit that top edge definitely do not want to do that it's supposed to be a happy time painting you'll be cussing kicking the dog breaking toes I don't know stuff like that we don't want that to happen we want Fido to, 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 to come up to you and love you all right so now another little trick I like to do, because this is so dark up top, I'm going to go right back into that white here. Because remember, you can see where the medium stops. This is dry canvas down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some of this white in our brush, like that. Just fill her up. We're going to start about right here, and we're going to make that fade. It also allows you to blend down further because we don't have any medium there. And now go back up. Just blend it in. See? It's not hard. Definitely not hard. Now you've got a nice mist at the base of your mountain pre-built in. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. You're the greatest. You're welcome. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to take all this dirty blue here. 
and I'm gonna put it down here. And we're gonna use that for a shadow collar. And uh, I know that that's a that's a lot of white. I said blue. I meant white. That's a lot. That's pretty clean. We can use that. You can have a little blue in there. And we're gonna take a little red, just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. That's probably too much. Take some of that out. You can always add more. It's hard to, you'll put a tube of white in there trying to get that red out, so. All right, now that I got that tinted, I like doing my uh, highlights first. I know, I know some people like their, <clears throat> they like to do their shadows first. Shout out, paint with Josh. Go look him up. All right, I cut across. I got that white right there, ready to go on this mountain. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you a trick that I do. Never seen anybody really do this before, but I do it. This is our uh, little shop towel from earlier. Up here where it's hard to blend, or, or rather take your brush and swipe that out, we are gonna take our paper towel and we're gonna get that paint off of the canvas because when you're doing mountains, Paint is not your friend. Actually, the whole time you're painting, this paint just tries to work against you. It's like the nature of the beast. The thing that you love is your enemy. That sounded deep. It is deep. Real deep. You can even kind of shape some things here. You know, because the paper towel when you're painting is your friend. See how I got all those little details? If it gets too clogged up, just take, get you a new section, get your hands all dirty. Wear gloves if you want, I don't know. But now that I got that, I'm gonna take and just kind of scrub here. Take and scrub. I'm gonna scrub more as I go down. We're gonna remove some of that paint there. See how it makes it lighter? That's why I went a little darker than I wanted because I knew it was going to lighten up when we took some of this paint off. See how much paint we removed? It's a lot of paint to be removed. That's a lot. We're going to throw that away. We're done with it. With that one. Now take your brush again. Blend it out. Get all of your nice blendage back. I don't know if that's a proper painting term, but it is what it is. Okay. Now, it's just dark up at the peak. That's what I wanted. Palette back in hand. Knife back in hand. I like starting out and working to my biggest one. So that's what we're going to do. Take. I don't like to do the big long strokes, especially for people that's just now starting to paint because it's hard to get paint breaks that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here and pull, 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 pull. Ooh, I like that. Pull and pull. You wanna pull the direction that your, uh, that your mountain's going, so. Now here you can get by with a little more pull, 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 pull. See those pink breaks in there? It's starting to come together, ain't it? And then when you get to the bottom, you can pull a little harder. You can push a little harder get you more of an effect like that on Misty which will help us out in a minute all right here boom boom I always outline first that's what I like to do I'm gonna bring that right into each other I ain't gonna lie, it's been a little while since I painted me a mountain. 
kind of feels good. It's going to take 17 weeks for this to dry with all the paint on it. So, when my knife gets dirty from that collar, from the mountain collar, I just take that paint. See how that's dirty? I wipe it down here because I'll use that for my shadow collar. Little pro tip. See how we're scratching, getting that mistage going on. Laurie looks misty. We haven't even used a brush yet. even hard to get it to stick there it kept wanting to pull off that canvas is so dry I'm telling you this is a this is a good little tip man wiping your canvas It's a little tricky. Try to get these up here. I'm gonna bring that into each other. Just acted like it wanted to come into each other, you know? They wanted to be together. They were destined to be together. For those of you that don't know it, I picked my nose on camera a minute ago. <laughs> That'll make it into the blooper reel for sure. Okay, now it's real important. Super important that you feel that top edge. You know, we can take the back of the knife if we need to. Go in. That's not helping whatsoever. So I'm just going to go above. You gotta make all the weird sound effects too. It, it definitely helps. I'm gonna take some more white because if you do mountains this way, it takes way more white than you ever thought. There we go. See how those nice little paint breaks? They're just, it's awesome. It's just absolutely amazing. You see how that's all the paint broke right there? I really like that. So I'm gonna make. A little nice little peak there. I want that kind of come over, over, and over like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Get some layerage going on. paint down there because we're going to need it. Oh, we got to get little edge of the knife. And come over here and add some little duders on this. See that? We may even get a little over here on this guy. Yeah, just like that. So now, Take this paint here that has some of that sky collar in it, and we'll get some Prussian blue. I hope that's Prussian blue. Yeah, we'll get some Prussian blue and put in it. It's already got a little red in it from the sky, so I'm not going to have to go too awfully hard on that. Got a little paint bugger in my paint there. And some more. Fairly dark here. Leave some. We're not going to mix this all the way because we want that variation in there. You see how it's kind of marbled? We like that. That's what we like. 
So let me check and see if I like this. Put some color up there. Yeah. That's going to be okay, I think. Start down at the bottom in case you hate it. That's going to be okay. Okay, one thing I like to do, because where I paint right-handed, um, it's kind of it's kind of hard to pull backwards with the knife. So I use the short part of the knife right here. Start up at the paint at the white and work my way back because we're going the opposite way this time. And uh, I just pull back like that. Pull back. You know, don't clump it up too much. And then just kind of fade her out. See? Bam! We're doing it. You know, you can go as fast or as slow as you want. I'm actually going kind of slow right now to show you all how to do this. And you'll get all kinds of little things happening. That was the dryer that just went off. In case you didn't hear. But we'll get all kinds kinds of little things happening here. Here, start this peak. I'm even going to go in here with it. See? It just looks beautiful when you do that. Now, something I do is I'll start on the outside edge like this and get all my lineage done up here the top Come on. Work. right like that and then less paint as you go down toward this peak. Almost like that there. And then I'm going to bring this one forward. So you're just fading down basically like you would with a brush. Just get a little bit of that paint on there. Because when you come back with this one. That one looks like it's pushed back. See what I'm saying? Because that's what we're trying to do here is just build dimension in this painting. Because that is, uh, that's, that's, I ain't gonna lie, that's, that's what sells. <coughs> or if, if you're, you're painting for your grandma, you know, that's, she's gonna notice those things and say, oh, daddy boy. This is excellent. Okay, I like that. We'll fade that down some. We'll scrape some of that paint off actually because it's just too thick right there. But what I want to do, maybe we'll go back and see in a minute. I don't know, but for now, this is what we're going to do. Okay, on this peak. I'm going to peek that out, keep bringing it back, a 
Those are just things I like to do, you know? Maybe, I didn't see this before, but maybe we want to, maybe we want to bring that down like that and have that cross over. You can do whatever you want, man. This is your world. That's what's beautiful about oil painting. We'll grab a filbert brush. That same filbert that we did the clouds with. Go back into some white. Load up. We're going to put in some foggy. Foggy, foggy. Some mist or whatever you want to call it. Just right across. I didn't have to go out there, but I did. So we're going to have trees and stuff out there. So some foggage. And honestly, with this stroke, the faster you go, the better it looks. I don't know why, it's just true. I was going too slow over here. But you don't want to go too far up into that paint. Over here is fine where it's already misted out. But like if I go into that, unless I put a lot of paint and go real fast, it'll turn it blue. Okay. Yeah. These trees are going to come over more, so I'm not going to go too far into that. Get my brush hair out because it drives me nuts. You can leave them in. I don't. It's up to you. Wipe off my little blender. Little blender boy. And... Soften that out, and boom, you've got your little foggy, foggy, foggy going on. Oh yeah, fog. Oh yeah. And then you can kind of swirl and lift up to give it more of a fog-like effect. Ta-da! That, my friend, is how you paint a mountain. There's more than one way to skin a cat, though. That's just how I skinned this one. So, we got our mountain in and our fog setting us up for our mid-ground. I will see you for the next video. Thanks, like, subscribe, share.